From the biggest mods and satisfactory to a storage teleporter, this is how you download free, safe, and legal mods into Satisfactory. Let's begin. So, click on your web browser of choice, whether that's Google, Bing, or whatever suits your fancy, and then go to the address that's currently on the screen right now. Also, all of these links will be in the description below to make it a little bit easier for you guys. This is what you should hopefully end up on. But this screen right here, it is the Fiskit app. It's where you can get all the mods. If you want, you can join the Satisfactory modding Discord, or you can join the official Satisfactory Discord. It's not a requirement, it's just there if you want to. There's a couple mods teased down here as well, but we want all the mods. So, maneuver your way to the left side, select mods, and here you go. You have got, I think it's 889 mods. That's actually gone up since yesterday, which is pretty cool. It was on 888 yesterday. But there are a bunch of mods that you guys can use. However, what we want to try and do today is rather than select last version, we're going to go to downloads. And then of course keep this descending, which means that you see the most popular mods in the game. Odds are you've most likely seen someone, especially a content creator, maybe repping this, which is an additional 300 inventory slots because it makes content creation a bit easier, you can build quicker, all that sort of good stuff. So you might love that mod, or maybe you like refined power, which is new power buildings. Maybe you want fu a function library. Maybe you want an efficient checker mod. Here are all the mods for you, but if you're only here for Satisfactory Plus, which is basically an incorporation of a bunch of these mods, this is the link you have to go to. Fiskit.app or fiskit.app slash mod slash Satisfactory Plus. Again, the link would be in the description. And go up over here to download the mod manager. You will see the same thing on the regular Fiskit app too. So download mod manager, that screen will pop up for a quick sec, and hopefully it should be downloading. Click on it, and then simply install it. When you do choose to install it, it will ask only for you or anyone on this computer. And of course that's a personal choice, but I'm going to choose anyone for this computer. As you can see, it actually installs very quickly luckily. Let's finish setting that up, and let's open up the app. And here it is, let's zoom in just a little bit. So, this is where you can type and search for any mod that you want. Oh, there you go, a few have instantly popped up right there. But again, if you're here for Satisfactory Plus, which I am, because I'll be starting a brand new Satisfactory Plus series, which is the biggest and best mod in the game. So, of course, if you guys are hyped for that, make sure to subscribe and subscribe for daily Satisfactory content. Let's go to Satisfactory Plus, and just like that, we can see it. It's got 3.2 million impressions or views, and it's got over 119,000 downloads. So if you'd like to download a mod, it's very simple. Click on it. This should hopefully pop up. You can then scroll down a little bit, see what you're getting. Actually, I'm not going to show you guys everything to keep it a bit of a surprise. Also because I don't necessarily know what I'm going to get. But here you can see everything that the mod does provide for you. But I believe before you press anything here, you have to make sure that mods are turned on, just like that. There then should be a satisfactory mod manager loading, that's all good, do not worry about that, and it instantly should connect to your game. So whether you've got it installed on Epic Games or Steam, it should automatically connect, which is pretty awesome. There we go, it might take a minute, but eventually it will work, so don't worry. So now, go over to Satisfactory Plus, and where it has the download icon, simply just download it. Again, this might take a minute, but the next step is where things get quite spicy. Brilliant. After that then installs, simply launch Satisfactory. You can click it here all through the Epic Games app. So by the way, this is what the app should look like on your PC home screen, hopefully. Okay, now that we're loading into the game, you might be able to spot the difference any second. And just like that, let me press the agree and proceed. Brilliant. You see it right there. Welcome to Satisfactory Plus. Great. So now all you have to do it's preferably start a new save, and everything you've just downloaded should be in the game. I won't be doing that right now though, because again, I've got a brand new Satisfactory Plus series, my very first time ever playing it, coming out soon. Either way, I hope that this video managed to help you guys out on how to install mods in Satisfactory, and of course, how to get it to work. Click the left or right of your screen to see more of my content, and again, subscribe if you guys like Satisfactory. Have an amazing rest of your day! 
Godspeed.